Hey, what's going on everyone? Moose here, Air Guns of Michigan, and today we are looking at a new air gun that is going to be making a pretty darn impressive impact on the air gun community. This is the Western Air Guns Rattler. And uh, yes, while it may look familiar, it is quite different. Um, this is a new company coming out. This gun particularly is in 35 caliber. It does have a 250 bar fill. They are running Omega tanks on these. Um, I can tell you that um, I took this thing out to shoot it and was shooting 35 caliber rounds at quite impressive speeds. Um, I shot some uh, FX um, slugs and uh, was getting roughly oh 960 feet per second at uh, about 165 to 170 foot-pounds of energy. Um, I shot poly mags out of this and they were zinging. Um, they were really cranking. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get many chronograph readings for obvious reasons. Um, but uh, I will get some chronograph readings with the poly mags coming up uh, in the future. Um, this gun has a adjustable power wheel on the bottom side here. If you're looking at the bottom of the gun, Rotating it counterclockwise gives you more power. Turning it in or clockwise gives you less power. Um, there is an adjustable regulator here. Uh, and I believe the manual says, let me just pull it up here. I want to be accurate. And what I say, let's see here. Oh, where was it at? There we go. Mm, ba -dum -bum -bum. Sorry, I probably should have already known this off the top of my head, but I didn't. So we're going to keep talking about it. Break it there. Here we go. Um, let's see. Da, da, da. Sorry, man, I just want to be accurate. Da, bum, bum. There we go. Uh, never adjust the regulator below 140 bar or above 190 bar as damage to the system may occur and void your warranty. So you can adjust this, this regulator up to 190 bar. Um, that's quite impressive. Um, you have your regulator gauge back here. This is your bottle pressure gauge up there. This is the rotating style magazine. Um, so what you'll do to load your rounds is push this lever up, slide this tray up, load around, rotate the magazine, next round, next round, next round, until you're complete. Push this back down, flip your switch back down on the side, and you are good to go. Um, this does have dual safeties as well. There is a trigger safety right here. Down would be fire, up would be safe, and then there's one back here in the back, safe and semi-automatic. This is a semi-automatic gun, so there is no bolt to cock. Uh, once the rounds are loaded, the safeties come off, you can just pull the trigger until all the rounds go down range. Um, I played around with it yesterday at 100 yards, and... Um, just putting my sight um, on the center of a target and pulling the trigger as quickly as I could, um, I completed a group about like, yay. That's not bad. <laughs> I would say, I mean, especially for a semi-automatic gun, you know, I once I made my point of aim, um, I just completely pulled the trigger. Uh, until it was empty. The bottle is removable as well as the barrel. The barrel does come out um, so that you can clean the barrel whatnot. It does come with this beefy moderator and uh, I don't know 
you know, doesn't say anything by anybody or anything like that, but um, it's relatively quiet for a 35 caliber gun. We will take it out to the range. You guys will be able to hear it, um, and, uh, you know, we'll go from there. Um, does have the Picatinny bottom rail built into it. Uh, for those of you ARCA guys, you can buy an ARCA adapter to Picatinny and uh, run your ARCA. Um, or especially for, like, uh, tripod shooting, um, I think that'd be a great idea to uh, get yourself an ARCA plate and uh, have that um, be able to set up on your bipod, your bog, or whoever you're using. Um, the butt stock does not appear to be adjustable. Um, the cheek rest here is sufficient. Uh, it does have a nice little cover over the side here, uh, which was nice. Um, I never got my beard caught in the magazine rotating, um, which for those of you bearded guys out there, that'll matter. Um, the, uh, the top rail here um, is held on by these bolts. I have not taken this gun apart. Um, it is uh, a gun that I was given to review. And um, so I'm not going to be doing any major modifications. It does appear, though, that you can uh, um, change your grip. So you can put an ergo grip on there, whoever else. Um, these are made in the USA from domestic and imported parts. Um, not really sure which one's which. does have the Picatinny rails on the uh, side of the top mount here, which is awful nice for your light or... You know, if you're really into it. Oh, there it is. I use my little chronograph buddy here that just holds my uh, chronograph off to the side. So that's always a, a nice little addition as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, overall, she's been a real joy to shoot. Uh, the magazine is just absolutely beefy. Uh, I don't think that there's a... 35, 357 slug out there that's not going to fit into this magazine. Um, I've tried some uh, pretty large stuff, including uh, if I have them around here, and I don't. But uh, I did shoot some JSB uh, 35 grain or 35 caliber pellets through it, um, and uh, a, a whole assortment of different slugs. The um, the uh, FX hybrids shot extremely well out of this, uh, as did the polymags. Uh, the polymags were absolutely just devastating. Um, they did extremely well. We'll show you guys some groups um, at the uh, when we get to the range. But uh, there you have it. The uh, Western Air Guns Rattler. Um, you know, it's definitely a uh, well-built um, air gun for sure. Uh, not super heavy either, and that was a really nice uh, bonus for me. Um, looking at it, it looks like it's pretty heavy. It is not. Uh, this is something that you could absolutely take out in the woods. Uh, 35 caliber, you guys know what you can hunt with that. And, uh, you know, obviously target and plinking, uh, it just uh, it's just a load of fun, especially on the uh, semi-automatic um, you can really have an absolute uh, field day with it um, I have not noticed if it has trigger adjustment let's consult the manual that actually came with the gun um, it does talk about the different parts of the gun it talks about removing the air tank uh, trigger uh, let's see here the two tapes to two stage trigger is set at the factory for best performance and is not adjustable. So that's unfortunate. It would have been nice to have a little bit of adjustment. The other thing um, that I, I would say is kind of a downer is um, rotating this magazine is a little bit of a chore. It, uh, it is not super easy to rotate. Um, I found that it took two hands, um, one on the back, one on the front. You know, it, it's just one of those things that I, I guess, honestly, because of it being semi-automatic and not bolt, um, I, I can understand. Um, let's see if there's anything else in this manual that we want to talk about. 
Uh, maintenance tips. Always keep at least 140 bar in the gun at all times. Never use petroleum-based lubricants, uh, which for obvious reasons we know why. Um, if you do have a problem with it, it does recommend sending it back to the manufacturer. This barrel actually screws into the block as well, just so you guys know. Um, it actually talks about when you're putting the barrel in, that you should turn it until it's snug and then back the barrel off an eighth of a turn and then retighten the two clamps. So just some interesting tidbits here and there, but uh, cool new air gun. And uh, yes, it is fun. Yes, it is accurate. I have not adjusted the regular. The only thing I played with was the power adjuster back here uh, just to see, you know, basically how fast I could uh, get my pellets flying. Uh, one thing I did learn is that um, if you look at these speeds, um, you know, I, I, we're talking like 0.2 seconds in between shots. Um, at one point, I was uh, getting a little lower on the tank. It, it is regulated, so that shouldn't matter. But I got 930, 921, 930, 926, 935, 914, 921, 935, 926. And that was repetitively pulling the trigger as quickly as I could. So I would say that it kept up with what I was asking it to do. Um, you know, um, the shot spreads got closer together. Um, when I slowed down, gave the gun time to recover, I got 965, 962, 958, 960, 962, 962, 965. Uh, and those were giving the gun a moment to recover, uh, refill its plenum via the regulator, and then continue shooting. So, overall, uh, it did very well. It was pretty consistent, and, uh, can't complain. Um, I'm really happy that they used Omega air cylinders on these. Um, I like Omega. I trust Omega. And, uh, you know, sometimes you get those knockoff tanks that you're just kind of like, hmm, not really sure about that. So, um, you know, there's, there's part of it there to be said. Um, like I said, well-built gun. Um, you know, obviously it's, uh, it's serviceable uh, by your local um, Western air gun dealer, um, but uh, overall, good, good, good air gun for sure. Nice beefy shroud, nice beefy moderator. Um, they're, you know, they're standard flex, but not a ton, man. It's pretty rigid. Uh, I think it really, really holds up well. So with that being said, I'm Moose. This is the Western air gun Rattler. And uh, we will absolutely get this thing topped off with a scope, get it out to the range, and we'll bring you guys some range time with this Rattler uh, coming up really, really soon. So till next time, I'm Moose. This is Airguns Michigan. Be good to each other, and God bless.